In this tutorial video, we will be learning on Excited State Calculation. We will be doing the coding on Google Colab. Like we did in the previous video, we will be starting with the installation of BlueCat. Type the code, exclamation mark pip install BlueCat in order to install BlueCat. Open Fermion is a library for compiling and analyzing quantum algorithms to simulate fermionic systems, including quantum chemistry. The package provides everything from efficient data structures for representing fermionic operators to fermionic circuit primitives for execution on quantum devices. Plugins to open Fermion provide users with an efficient, and low overhead, means of translating electronic structure calculations into quantum circuit calculations. Now let's learn on calculating excited states with the variational quantum eigensolver. VQE optimizes a wave function to minimize the expectation value of Hamiltonian. Therefore, VQE can only calculate the ground state. In this time, we will explain how to calculate the excited state using VQE, and we will show the example of the calculation for the excited state of the hydrogen molecule. This time we will use an overlap-based method to calculate the first excited state. This method uses a penalty term for the overlap between the wave functions from VQE and the ground state. The excited state can be obtained by adding the penalty term to Hamiltonian. An equation is as follows. The H on the right side is the original Hamiltonian. The second term on the right side evaluates the value of the overlap with the ground state wave function psi gs, which is obtained by a classical calculation, but it is also possible to use VQE. Alpha in the second term is a parameter that represents a penalty, and we take a large enough value about it. By adding the penalty term to the original h term, we define h hash on the left side. We evaluate the expected value by using the wave function psi vqe obtained from the vqe. Since the excited state is orthogonal to the ground state, the second term in the above equation is zero if psi vqe becomes the excited state. In this time, we will use this expectation value to implement the excited state calculation of hydrogen molecule in VQE. Incidentally, if wanted wave function is not the first excited state but the NTH excited state, penalty terms are created by using the wave function from the ground state to the N-1th excited state. Firstly, install the necessary libraries. The Hamiltonian is obtained with open fermion. Then, import the necessary libraries. The optimization of VQE uses SciPy minimize. Then, define the functions for calculating VQE and obtain information about the molecule. The initial wave function is set to 1010. The calculations are performed using hardware efficient ansets. Then, creating the circuit with the parameters assigned. Then, run the circuit. The molecular information is obtained using open fermion, and the basis set as STO3G. The expected value is calculated using the wave function obtained by VQE. In the expected value calculation, the term concerning the overlap between the ground state and VQE wave functions is added to the original expected value of the Hamiltonian with the penalty. Then record the bond length, VQE, ground state and first excited state results. Then, execute the calculation for each bond length. Then, determine the number of bits, depth, initial parameter and the penalty. Here, the penalty value is assigned as 10 Hartree. And also define the Hamiltonian. Then, obtain the eigenvalues and eigenvectors using classical calculation and also obtain the wave function of the ground state. Then next, run the optimization. Then, record the bond length, VQE, ground state and first excited state results. Then, plotting the results. This will take a few minutes. The results are in good agreement with the exact value of the excited states. While the method used here is the overlap-based method, there are various methods to calculate the excited states.
Thank you for watching this video.